A lot of people, they get into this business, they get a deal or maybe two deals. And I feel like they kind of get complacent. And like, the reason I wanted to have you on is because you did it and you, you haven't stopped right? Like you've kept going, you're making, by the way, with his SEO deal, he's making close to 15 K per month, but I want the standard to be, Hey, you got to be at 10 K. Like until you get there, we're not even taking it like a deep breath. What was your mentality? Once you got those first couple deals, like, I think it would have been really easy for you to be like, cool. That's some good, like additional income. And now I can just work my regular thing, have a little bit more money. What was it mindset wise that you had to tell yourself so that you kept going to get to 10 K and then keep going? Cause that's what I'm trying to get people to wrap their head around it's like how do you live on 10k man yeah i know man it's um well we just bought a house in yes. november it's a significant increase for us the last couple of years we had been homeschooling we started putting our kids into private school i mean i tell you what these bills are stacking up and you know even at the 15k i am not comfortable not at all it's not enough i mean it gets expensive to take our whole family out to just chick-fil-a let alone a, a nice restaurant and i'm just at the point where I want to be like, guys, we don't have to like split meals. Everybody talking? order what you want. I still feel like I'm not quite there. You'll get there. It's nice to, to start seeing that be on the horizon because I've got a process that's repeatable. That was key is that once I finally found a process that worked and it was pretty dang quick, you can't help but just want to keep doing it. So two things that were driving me, one was that I was really tired of nursing. Nursing was rough, especially through COVID, just kind of screwed everything up. You just get tired of having to wear the mask every day for such a long time still to this day. And I got really tired of people dictating my schedule to me. You could ask Pearl. She she would attest that I would get so heated when <laughs> I would get called in when I, I didn't really need to go in. When you wanted to have a day off and you had to like put in the request months in advance, somebody else already requested that day. So you couldn't both be gone at the same time. You're having to try and swap days with somebody and nobody wants to swap. Having to go in on holidays, have my phone on and ready to go in while I was at church on Sunday mornings. It just sucked. And I was really tired of that. I probably was jumping ship and cutting my hours a little too early. It would have been nice to have that extra income to be putting into more ads and just give myself a little bit more buffer. But I was just tired of it. I was ready, ready to be done. And we've been working on this for over six years now. You know, we had this dream six years ago to go full time and work from home, have the laptop lifestyle. And it's finally coming to fruition. It was embarrassing for me to be like, yeah, I've been doing this for six years and I'm basically making zero money. And I have money going out every month for the websites and tracking numbers and domain names and everything and backlinks that I bought, you know, a long time ago and nothing to show for it. And I, I finally got the process that allows me to fulfill these dreams. So yeah, I mean, I just kind of can't help but go for it. And it is interesting. So April and May, I landed several deals. June, I got kind of cocky. Summer hit, kids were out. I really didn't do much work. So then July, I was like, oh crap, I really got to buckle down and get this going. So then July and August were great. September, I took off again. Last week, guy changed his mind. Guy bailed on a Zoom call on me this morning. So that's why I was watching your, your bagel video. So but um, you know what I want to say on that is that's the beautiful part. I, like, not that you should be complacent, but if you were in, if all that business was SEO, it would be the most terrifying thing in the world. Because if you go a couple months where you're not adding a client or even one month, you know, next month it's going to drop. And listen, dude, you've taken over the last six months, two months off basically, and maybe even more. And you are still making amazing money. Yeah. You're going to have some turnover. Yeah. You're going to lose some clients because they can't close deals, but that's that's what I love about this. And you know what you're gonna love the most? You're gonna come into winter. And last year, those little commission deals that didn't pay much anyway, paid almost nothing in the winter. And yeah. your income is not going to change. You're gonna have a great Christmas. It's like, you know, I used to dread winter because it would just dip with my paper lead and my SEO. Cause this is when clients start to cancel, right? Things got right. slow, you start cutting the bill. So dude, I love hearing you say, I've been trying to do this for six years. I don't think you should be embarrassed by that. But thank goodness you didn't give up on it. But it also goes in as like a testament to the fact of like, everyone thinks because you can learn, you can build a website and generate a lead. That is the missing piece. That is not the missing piece. Yeah. You're way better off to flip it, learn how to sell it and like, 
Uh, maybe I'm wrong. That's how I feel. Would you agree? 100%. 100%. The sales is the much better skill. And, you know, at multiple times over this journey, I've kind of tried to like see if I could find a partner to kind of do the sales part. But it's like, if you can sell, you have your pick of who to work with. <laughs>